in a typical environment. Uh, however, when there's a shock to the market or shock to the system, we notice that uh, the correlation will increase on something that initially appeared negatively correlated. And uh, I want to get a sense of how you sort of deal with that, maybe measure that, and how do you sort of address that for periods of market shock. And um, so when it comes to these tail correlations, and as a matter of fact, to any surprises, uh, we should see like how sudden they are un unfolding. Uh, is it really sudden, or the information is already out there and we are not capturing those? There is a recent paper from Cliff Asnesson published in August talking about uh, markets becoming less efficient in the past 30 years. The implication will be you're going to have these shocks even unfold more gradually. So at the end of the day, who has built better systems that capture those shocks quicker than others? And they can detect the source of those shocks and take the proper action on those, like the risking of the portfolio, whether they want to like stay the course or take the other side of the bet, tilt to other idiosyncratic factors that are less impacted by the shocks. From the risk model perspective, most of these models are not able to capture all the factors and they are really calibrated on the history when it comes to the tail correlations. There are not enough data points. And uh, even the current system, they are usually calibrated on fundamental shocks. So when it comes to liquidity crisis, like the quant event of 2007, those cases are like very extreme for the risk system. Uh, there was a, I think in 2007, in four days, there was 25% drop, uh, drawdown in uh, volatility and momentum factor. That's 30 standard deviation uh, event per year. We look at these style factors as a, um, another layer of diversification and to broader diversified portfolio. We have uh, diversified across geographies, asset classes, private, public assets. So if there is going to be a day that these style factors are not going to perform uh, and they're going to be positively correlated, we accept those uh, sort of negative impact and we hope that there is enough resilience in the rest of the portfolio to uh, cushion the blow. For some of the fundamental factors, we have in-house uh, systems. They are built to uh, basically model the time-varying correlation among the assets. So they can do really like extreme scenarios and provide us with more insights and colors where we are vulnerable and where we have to make the portfolio more resilient.